The third objective for today's lesson we just talked about, which was all of our operations of vectors. Here's a quick preview of what we just did. Um, but now we're going to move on to the fourth objective, which is calculating the unit vector. And when I hear that word unit, I think of unit circle. And all um, triangles on the unit circle have a radius of one. And so that's essentially what we're doing when we're calculating the unit vector is we're shrinking or stretching that particular vector so that its length, its magnitude, has a length of one. So that kind of fits within that unit circle constraints. Think about it that way. The formula for calculating a unit vector is we would just take the vector itself and we would divide by its magnitude. I like to add the double absolute value bar so we know that that means magnitude instead of absolute value. Okay. If you're a steps person, this can be done in two steps. Step one, we need to find the magnitude. And we'll take that original vector that we have to negative five. And when we calculate the magnitude of that vector, we are going to take each component and square it, add them together, and then square root. So we end up with four plus 25 underneath our radical, which is the square root of 29. Cannot be reduced, so step one is complete. Step two, we're going to divide the vector by its magnitude. Okay, so the vector that we just started with was two, negative five, and we're going to divide that vector by its magnitude. Really all this is is a scalar multiple. I could also rewrite this by kicking it out front and being a fraction, which would be 1 over the square root of 29 if I wanted to. Um, but I'm going to separate this now into two separate fractions. So we've got 2 over the square root of 29. We have to divide the x component. And we also have to divide the y component. And as you know, in this course, we do not leave square roots in the denominator, so we're going to rationalize for our final answer. 2 square root 29 over 29, and then negative 5 square root 29 over 29. That would be the unit vector. If I were to find the magnitude now of that final answer, the magnitude would be 1. Then we're jumping to another objective, which is finding a vector that is in the same direction as another vector, but with a different magnitude. So we're going to start with the vector negative 3, positive 3. And we need to make sure our new vector goes in the same direction as that vector, but we want it to have a magnitude of 6. So what we need to do first is we need to find the magnitude of the original vector. just like we did before. So we'll do that by taking vector A, calculating its magnitude. So we've got negative three, we'll square it, positive three squared as well, added together, and then square rooted. So we get nine plus nine, which is the square root of 18. Now when we break down the square root of 18, that is going to reduce, that radical will reduce and we're going to end up with 3 square root 2. Square root of 9 times the square root of 2, which is 3 root 2. Next step would be to find the unit vector. And we did that by taking the original vector and dividing it by its magnitude. So our original vector, 3 negative 3, positive 3, we're going to divide now by this new magnitude. Okay, and then we would need to break this apart into two kind of separate components, dividing both the x and the y's. And at this phase, I'm going to go ahead and reduce just so that this is a little less messy. This would reduce just to a 1 up top, same thing here. And so what I have so far would be negative 1 over the square root of 2, and then positive 1 
over the square root of 2. I'm going to go ahead and rationalize as well to get my unit vector. I've got negative square root 2 over 2, positive square root 2 over 2, which, hey, that is a coordinate on the unit circle. So we know, in fact, that this really does have a magnitude or a length of 1. So the last step, we need to make sure that it has a magnitude of 6. So our third step, we're going to multiply by the new magnitude. So we're going to take that unit vector that has a magnitude of 1 currently, and then we're going to put that scalar multiple out front and distribute through. When I do that, I get negative 6 square root 2 over 2 and positive 6 square root 2 over 2. One last step to simplify your answer today. Negative 3 root 2, positive 3 root 2. That would be a vector in the same direction as the original. It looks like it is starting at the origin and going out into the second quadrant. But instead of having um, the magnitude that negative 3, positive 3 has, it now has a magnitude of 6.